Well, did Denmark just become, I mean, one of the freest countries in the European Union? It appears that way, but we'll explore what's going on and, well, we'll look to see if this is something that's going to stick around. First, if you could, guys, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Government officials announcing on Friday that they are dropping all remaining Rona restrictions throughout the entire country. And yeah, that even includes jab mandates as Denmark was one of those countries that it introduced the jab passports to get into major venues, to get into nightclubs. You know, we've been hearing this for a while now. This has been spreading throughout the United Kingdom and Denmark was one of those countries. But government officials said that Nope, we feel like we have a good control of everything and we're going to just drop everything as of right now. So what led to this? What led to their decision? What percent are they currently sitting at as far as the residents that are fully jabbed? I'm going to talk about that in just a second, guys. First, if you could consider making a generous donation here to our ministry, you guys can help us out in a major way. We're demonetized here. But you guys can help us out through PayPal or Patreon. If you enjoy the daily video content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines, trying to get people to Jesus Christ through this ministry, uh, PayPal or Patreon down below. Even just 5 bucks a month on Patreon gets you bonus content. Also, we include the links to the YouTube videos there to make sure you get all the alerts and the new content arrives. Plus, there you can comment censorship-free. You can also send me direct messages. Patreon is a great way to just stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. Also, guys, make sure you sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check us out. All those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those of you thinking about doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. We're talking about Denmark here, officials say the health minister came out and said that 83% of Denmark, for those that are ages 12 and above, have been fully jabbed. And that they no longer consider the Rona to be a, 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 a disease of concern. It's no longer a socially critical illness. And so we're going to just move on with life as normal. Any sort of location that had a previous mandate, even face diapers, uh, any sort of a jab, a proof of jab to get into any sort of a business, that's all now being dropped. You know, Now, I wonder what people have been doing up until this point that didn't get the jab that were actually being shut out of these places. How are they living prior to that? Did they see this eventually coming? Because we know that most governments, they don't want to give up control. And so the fact that Denmark has done this is, I don't know, a little suspicious to me. It's a little suspect. And the health minister actually hinted at, well, this doesn't mean that Rona is completely over. And they did say that, they didn't take off the table that these restrictions could come back. And see, that's the key. The fact that they're telling you that they could come back. Not that they're gone forever. They're gone for now. And what this kind of reminded me about is if you guys go back to May, when the Centers for Demonic Control of the United States had said that if you were somebody that had been fully jabbed at that point, you could do what? Take your face diapers off. And I said that this was going to be a very short-term thing. A lot of these companies were going off the honor system at that point, but all it took was a mere two months. And by the 4th of July, they were they were yelling at us again, saying that no, we didn't because they didn't meet their goal. Biden was upset about that. And then the anger started coming back. They started getting upset. We're offering you incentives. You won't take it. And now we've just heard that Biden mandated that the private sector, 100 employees or more, everybody's required to get the jab or test weekly. So we see how quickly you could go from having your so-called freedoms back to them just being completely taken away again. This is good, I think, in the short term for Denmark. Look, I hope it lasts a long time. And, and for those that live there, good for you. I mean, you guys are going to be at least good for a short time. But we know Bible prophecy is still going to be fulfilled. Revelation chapter 13 is going to come to pass where eventually the whole world, the whole system is going to be controlled by the Antichrist. And that's not something that we can avoid. We have to know what's happening, prepare for that. But Denmark, for now, you're looking okay. And, you know, I'd love to hear from anybody that's over there in Denmark about how this has affected you, what this means going forward for you, your job, your business. If there's anybody there, we'd just love to hear from you. 
This is why we do these videos, guys. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. The question is, do you know him as your Lord and Savior? If not, we want to give you this opportunity like we do on all of our videos to accept him. You could do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need in order to bring that prayer before the Lord, the Lord as the first thing that you want to do is acknowledge that you're a sinner, something that we all are. But God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is you have to repent of your sin. And that means to turn from your sin and not just to say you're sorry, but to actively turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.